just as I told Russia to stop it. Today, President Obama made good on that promise to retaliate, targeting Russia's top intelligence agencies with sanctions. Officials in Vladimir Putin's inner circle, but not the Russian president himself, all but singled out by President Obama. Tell him to cut it out and there were going to be some serious consequences. Freezing the assets of Russian officials named, banning business contacts with Americans. Russia also accused of harassing U.S. diplomats abroad and espionage operations in America. We've seen um, verbal and physical harassment. We've seen them try and revoke their credentials. We've seen them try and detain them. 35 Russian diplomats in the U.S. expelled, just 72 hours to leave. Closing two Russian government compounds, rec centers allegedly used for spying, shut down as of noon Friday. In a statement, President Obama saying, all Americans should be alarmed by Russia's actions. The actions today were designed to make very clear we will respond at a time and place of our choosing. Also targeted two alleged notorious cyber criminals accused of stealing millions from American banks and personal data from e-commerce sites. The U.S. also declassifying information designed to help computer experts block more hacking. The Russians dismissed it all as another sign of aggressive foreign policy to deal a blow to the incoming administration's foreign policy plans. Earlier, President-elect Trump again rejected allegations of Russian interference in the election. I think we ought to get on with our lives. While Trump may soon have the power to reverse today's sanctions, that may prove politically difficult with Republicans and Democrats calling for tough steps against Russia. He has a Senate and a House leadership that have all supported these actions. If he backs down and he does this, it will be perceived that it was done for Putin and at Putin's request. In a statement just in, Mr. Trump says he will meet with leaders of the intelligence community next week in order to be updated on the facts of the situation. President Obama vowed there's more to come, likely covert action that will not be made public. As tonight, Russia threatens retaliation. Tavern. Ron, thank you very much. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.